Good evening and welcome to Central News, I'm Katrina McKinley. In today's news, a University of Waikato PhD student is about to start their three-year research into the sea lettuce in Tauranga Harbour. Sea lettuce can be seen in excess in the Tauranga Harbour at different times of the year. Alex Port says once the sea lettuce is broken up by waves and washes ashore, it can rot and cause a pungent smell. Well basically, I mean, it's a plant, right? It's an algae and it needs light to grow and um, it needs nutrients to live off, which in the case of sea lettuce it takes mainly just from the water column because it doesn't actually have roots, which is a big difference to sea grass for example. And um, yeah, it likes a comfortable temperature in the water, not too much sunshine. They actually do react, not like sunburn, but they do dislike uh, too strong radiation and ultraviolet radiation. So yeah, a little aquarium, 15 to 20 degrees, enough nutrients, that's perfect conditions. And in Tauranga, we have sort of the potential for very good conditions uh, because of mild climate, basically, that's one big thing. But not all year round and not in all places. And that's one sort of one of our key questions is trying to figure out, you know, what time of year um, are the conditions favorable for a bloom to take off? And what are the factors at that time of year that you know, trigger or prevent that from happening? Bayfair Shopping Mall is helping to make life easier for parents while shopping there by refurbishing their parents' room. The updated parents' room is part of an initiative to make Bayfair more parent-friendly. Steve Allingford, Centre Manager for Bayfair, says it is important to Bayfair to, to accommodate to their parent customers with young babies and toddlers. Parents and um, children are one of our biggest demographics. Um, they're a big chunk of our community, our customer base, and it's important that people come to Bayfair and see it as a social hub, somewhere where they can come, they can relax, they can enjoy their shopping experience. There's facilities for the children, they can come in here and, and do what they need to do, whether it's heating milk or using the privacy booths or changing nappies, they can do it here in a safe, clean, and as you can see, a great environment. Pat Buckley wants to include parents in teenagers' education about the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse and the importance of making good choices. Papamoa College's Parents and Friends Group has joined forces with Pat in his program that will educate both teens and parents about the decisions young people are facing today. Pat says the bottom line is that people shape their future by their choices, both positive and negative, and we need to encourage our young people to take ownership of their own lives. A 20-year-old woman was killed in Morrinsville after the car she was in crashed into a, the rear of a slow truck and trailer. Miss Felici Felicity Page Wren was to be a volunteer at this week's Fashion Week in Auckland and a minute's silence was held at the opening of the event for her. Time to check out the region's weather. Tauranga, it will be a lot nicer tomorrow. The rain will clear and it will be long, fine spells for you. A balmy 17 for your high and overnight lows of 9 for tonight and tomorrow. Hamilton will have a few showers with fine spells and it will be very similar for the rest of the Waikato region. Hamilton's high for tomorrow is 13 and overnight lows of 7 for tonight and tomorrow night. Coming up after the break, we hear all about the Cambridge Society of Arts Biennial Exhibition. Canteen are getting set for Bandana Appeal Fortnight. And we hear once more about the community wall at Bayfair Shopping Centre. Stay tuned and I'll see you back here after the break.